Why is Cherry making a resurgence in cabinets? Well, I've been um, in the cabinet industry now for 30 years when, when this is being filmed. Um, and when I first started in the industry, Cherry was used a lot. Um, let's talk about some of the beautiful characteristics of Cherry. So first of all, um, Cherry, of course, it's, it's right in the middle of the hardwoods, right? It's not too soft to where it dings and nicks as easily as, say, alder or pine or red oak. Um, but it's, um, it's uh, more, more beautiful because um, it has a lot of character. You know, this one happens to be a rustic cherry, but it had a, has a lot of movement to it. And the movement is relatively obvious. Um, uh, the, and then, of course, it's easy to use tools on, but it's not too hard um, like, uh, you know, walnuts or, um, you know, even some maples or hickories that, it, that the wears down on your, your uh, tools a lot faster. Um, <clears throat> but the other thing about cherry that's kind of unique compared to a lot of other woods is that it changes its tone <laughs> or it's a, uh, well, it's tone and it's, and it's shade. It gets darker with exposure to natural light or just UV rays. And so oftentimes if you get a natural, um, cherry, this is one of the downfalls. You have to leave the cherry. I mean, just be aware that an eight, you want to choose your cherry from an aged sample in the showroom. Do not choose a fresh cherry sample. Um, or if you do, make sure that there's, it has a stain on it, okay? This one actually has a, just a light stain on it. Um, yeah, it's called honey. Um, but if you choose a natural, make sure that natural has been exposed to light. And you know what? The easiest way to do it, if you're not sure, um, if it's been aged enough, have them put the sample out in the sunshine for a couple of hours, no joke. And then turn around and bring it back in and, um, and make your decision off of that. It'll, it'll make that big of a difference in just a few hours being exposed to natural light. Okay? Um, but um, that is one of the biggest challenges oftentimes with clients. If you like natural cherry and you like the way that natu cherry naturally ages, then you're going to want to pick off of an aged color to pick your sam other samples off of. But when you get that natural uh, cherry, sorry, cabinetry at your home or your project, um, beware that sometimes it can look as blonde. Um, I don't have a maple here right behind me. Yes, I do down here, but it's kind of hard to see anyway. But it's going to be as blonde as a, uh, as, as a maple. I'll just pop this maple up. As, as it can be that blonde. Okay? Um, and so a lot of people get disappointed when they get that cherry and say, this isn't anything like I was hoping it would be. And so again, that's going to age. If you leave it naturally aging in just uh, interior or superficial UV lighted spaces, it's going to take probably six months to a year to kind of get to its aging point that it will look the way that you pick the sample. If it bothers you a lot um, and you don't like it initially, then put all the pieces and all the materials of the cabinets out in the sunshine for a few hours. Make sure all they're out, out getting the same exposure. Um, and you're going to get it to age very quickly, probably to the point where you pick the one in the showroom. Okay. Hopefully that helps. Cherry's a beautiful wood, um, but it does have, and of course, cost wise, um, cherry, it's going to be in the same space as your maples and your hickories, um, in, in that family, at least right now until the demand goes up again, and then maybe it'll go up in price. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, and share. Thanks guys. Mm-hmm.